Hey friends, it's time to give you a July tour. It's just the beginning of July. There's a lot of things I have to clean up, a couple of things that I need to harvest. <laughs> and um, I want to get ready for fall. And so I really wanted you to see the way it looks. There are some things that have died off and um, got some diseases maybe, some insects are attacking some of my things, the heat. <laughs> As usual, my lovely wind. <laughs> it's overcast. So I thought it would be a perfect time to do this because it's super hot right now. In Texas, it is excruciating hot. Um, so we'll see if I can do this. If not, we'll just do it another day. Hey, so before I show you, check this out. <laughs> it's my new shirt. My sister gave it to me for my birthday. I recently had a birthday and I got this cute cat. Um, oh, and a friend gave me these. So why not, right? <laughs> um, let me show you before I lose daylight. And I'm gonna start from the end and I'll work my way to the front because the sun sets on this side and I want you to still have light by the time we get to this side of the beds. So stay with me. Okay, I haven't done anything about that. That will come later, but for now we get to look at all that mess. On this side, I have the beds where I just just put anything in there just to see what would do good and what, what wouldn't do good because of my sunlight so if you notice I have a fence and then I have neighbors so I don't get too much sun on this side I thought it would be the same over here but I was wrong so I get full sun on all these beds so next year I'm gonna change them up but over here there are some things that are doing okay and some that are struggling so the potato vine on all the areas that I have it from the compost bin that I saved is doing amazing obviously the watermelon here i snuck two or three watermelons and this is what i just found so this one cracked and it's being attacked by bugs this one is here but it really hasn't grown much and the leaves don't look healthy um this is not a good spot for them i've allowed some tomatoes to kind of take on from the compost uh, because I put my homegrown compost in here some seeds did give in and um, I wanted to see what would happen so so far so good however if you notice on a lot of my uh, foliage is I've got I'm, I'm assuming this is spider mites and got some bugs in there maybe you see those? And I think they're sucking the sap out of the leaves because I have a lot of them that are like this. And this just happened. So I'm gonna um, spray them after this. Uh, but this zucchini actually has done quite well. It was a little stump because it was attacked by, I, I think, I don't know, I had a pest in here that ate it twice. And look how it's doing. I think it's doing great, except for that. They're attacking all my stuff, so I have to be prepared next time. My sunflowers are still doing great. This variety is actually pretty amazing because they have multiple buds. So all I do is I just cut the spent blooms like this one and excuse the mess, but I've been leaving them here to dry off and the birds are snacking on them. So I thought it was pretty neat. And in the center here, I snuck some potatoes. This is where my potatoes have done the best. And I have quite a few. And you can tell that one's kind of droopy here. Um, but I think uh, once they start flowering, then they're starting to produce potatoes. So I'll have to give it a check. This nasturtium didn't do so well. I'm not sure why. Um, got some more volunteer tomatoes here and this I need to come back and cut back some because I think there's four here I just let them do their thing and but you see I'm getting attacked by those darn bugs I'm gonna spray them tonight 
Uh, back here I've got some dill, which is doing really well compared to the other ones that I have. And then here I've got three cantaloupe plants, which are just cascading down so beautiful. And then I've got some cantaloupes over here. And if we come over on this side, whoops, sorry. I've got all the new zinnias, the giant zinnias that I knew were gonna get a little bit carried away over here. And this color I don't have on the other side. And it's just gorgeous. It's like a deep red maroon color. And thankfully I have two next to each other so I can see both together. And those are doing really well. I have to come and do some pruning um, right now and probably well the reason why i have the zinnias here is because i wanted a cut flower garden um so i need to come and do that i've got celery in the back which has all of it has the same thing you see you know i didn't know what this was and i picked up a book about uh, pests and diseases and i'm becoming an expert <laughs> Um, sunflowers are doing well um, these are planted later so they are shorter but they still have a, their show so I'm loving this type of sunflower it's a different sunflower it's a goldie double really recommend it I think it's just gorgeous and I've got some disease control here we have a lot of humidity here in South Texas so um, next year i'll be more prepared for that the tomatoes look at that amazing excuse the mess um, tomatoes are doing really well um, i wish i had picked up a variety that had uh, more tomatoes but next year for sure this is the tomato here that was struggling at the beginning and look at that it's just become a little massive tomato plant. And then the nasturtium is also not doing so good. My nasturtiums didn't do really well. I think they're better off in the fall. I'm not so sure. I think it's too hot. And this is where I have uh, the other set of dill. And it's not as tall and lush as the other one. So I know they need less sun. I snuck two potatoes in here. Well, actually, a, f a row of potatoes, and only two came about. But you see how short they are? I think it, there's just more moisture over here. Um, or it's just really hot, and they're not doing really well. This one survived, but it's not doing much. It's still beautiful to look at. This is the ornamental uh, flowering uh, kale crane. My cilantro's back here, which bolted. Um, it just looks real pretty, so I'm keeping it. These marigolds were doing great, but see how it's all getting attacked. Oh, that was one. Ah, they're all getting attacked. So I've got to do some pruning there. Um, my cucumbers, you see how they're here too? They're terrible, terrible. But I've got cucumbers, two cucumbers, one on each corner. And then I have a cantaloupe think one or two cantaloupe and I've got one here see that one and I've got some growing over here some vines over there and the watermelon I snuck back here also didn't do really well next year I'm gonna put tomatoes all in this bed because there's a lot of Sun they're very tall and then I'll be able to put some more heat tolerant over here that are shorter because the sun does come from this side and I don't want these to shade over there but this is the first time this is my very first year doing this so I really don't know the areas now I'm learning and I get to really pick my seeds next year um, definitely uh, mold uh, resistant and I don't know if I can find spider mite resistant but um, I'll look into it who knows the good thing about the cucumber is um, all the new growth is uh, pest free. So if I have to come back and cut it back down, at least my cucumber continues to grow. But you see, 
gosh, they're everywhere. It's terrible. Um, they're getting out of hand. But I love the way the cucumber looks and how it trails. Over here on this bed, I've also had some potatoes, but you see they're struggling as well. There's a lot of things that are struggling. <laughs> Looks like it wants to flower. I hope so. I hope it's still alive. Cantaloupe there is doing um, okay. Um, I think um, it's, it's also being attacked by pests. And this has been here since the beginning. Since the very beginning, I put um, beets, radishes, the carrots in this bed. But I really do think that our heat here is so bad, the beets didn't do good at all. So a lot of those things that I wish I could have had an early harvest for, for the more uh, cold tolerant crops, I wish I would have just decided to do that in the fall because um, as they're maturing, it, it's getting too hot here they're either bolting or they're just they have a stunt growth so I don't get no growth it's really important for plants to get some cool time and normally that's at night and here it's still hot at night uh, because it allows them to rest and restore themselves and then they can kick on the next day with the heat well they don't really get that so I think that's why they're not doing so well but one or two beats are sticking around you get some new growth in there but and they look pretty bad and there's one in here that's really not good but carrots are actually doing really well um, I think some of them are standing up a little bit more and these are starting to be a little droopy so I think it's time to pull some of these so let's go and see if we should harvest one of these. Let's see what we get. Look at that. It's still small, so it needs some more time, but this is a good snack for right now. My strawberry patch here um, didn't do so well, except for the ones that I grew indoors are just now flowering. But look, I see bugs in there. So I think we're being attacked over here as well. Uh, but it's just starting to flower. This wasn't here, so I was happy about that. But strawberries are not supposed to do good in the heat anyway, so I think it's just gonna stick around for as long as it can. Um, I've got cantaloupe over here, but it looks like we've got a disease problem. So I'm gonna need to treat it and hopefully I can still save it. Um, these two watermelons are a specialty watermelon and um, they were on sale. Those seeds were on sale. And so I just picked them up because there was not a lot that were available and they are not really good for here. <laughs> I have one watermelon, a little bitty one. Let me show you what it looks like. It's trailing over here, and here it is. I mean, it's really cute, and it's still growing, so maybe I can still have one, but I think it's just not liking it over here. This happened a lot at the very beginning, but look, I have new growth. It doesn't look affected. Check out my lettuce bed. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty large and bolty and just ready for um, a new set of plantings and probably the very first bed that's gonna have some fall stuff. But over here, my red cabbage is doing beautiful. Look at the color. I just think it looks fake, it looks like plastic. But I think it's thriving because the lettuce is shading it. And it's cooler, and they're cool tolerant plants. And it's really hot right now, so to me that's the only reason why they're doing so well. So I might just keep some of these just to give that shade to the cabbage. But 
Um, these actually look pretty cool. Look how tall this one is. It's taller than me and it's starting to flower. You can see that. Look, I just spotted my little friend here. <laughs> that lettuce has some like sticky sap. Anyways, um, we try to harvest as much as we could from the lettuce bed and we didn't get it in time and it started to taste pretty bad so we just let it do its thing. For the fall, I'm going to add different varieties so that I can finally choose lettuces to our likings um, and I'm going to mix. I'm going to have different colors too. Some purples, some you know dark greens and all that good stuff um, but this time you know I just I did what I could with the seeds that I had and they weren't my favorite but it's a lesson learned which I'm okay with I mean I think you're gonna have to do that for the few, uh, first couple of years until you uh, understand how to select seeds and areas of your house all that good stuff so it doesn't bother me that you know I spent some time in this garden and uh, really couldn't harvest too much but it's um, part of the process and my celery also I've been picking at it too um, but it's it's got some issues there as well and it's really bitter I think it's just ready for a removal and a redo I think I'm gonna put some pumpkins here hopefully they do okay I've got um, some blueberry, uh, blueberry plant back here that I think has some issues as well um, but I'm gonna treat and hopefully we get lucky next year with it I'm telling you there's a lot of stuff going on in here and even though I come and check it all the time stuff slips and you know with COVID and all that going on everything is order online and um, so it just takes a little longer for you to get stuff it's not a, a next day prime delivery anymore it's uh, in the next two three weeks so it's terrible anyways let me move over to one of my favorite beds and it's my peppers I just love this bed um, I think because it's so green like a dark dark green um, I had quite a few cucumbers here that somehow from one day to the other died but one survived and look see they're in there as well and I think it's um, heading over to the plants because they like the shade they don't like too much full sun I think it's it's um, sun to part sun and it's getting too hot so I'm actually thankful that it, you know on its own it's scooting over to some shade look at my serrano peppers how many of those do I have I'm ready to get some salsa going I had some earlier I probably give those away my sunflowers god I love them so much I will say that I did put some in between um, and it was too much because they didn't grow as tall like for example this one That's this is as tall as it as it got actually I cut it here So it was probably a little bit taller, but if you give them their space and they get really really tall um, And I've got some issues It got it was um, It was so uh, rainy for about a week and a half that we've got some yeah, it's just probably a moldy disease here. It's just very, very humid sometimes in in this part of Texas. But I'm still getting some blooms, and I'm in, I'm still enjoying the sunflowers. Um, over here, I've got like a really sweet serrano that's ready to be picked, and down here I've got some habaneros that are almost ready to be picked as well this one's ready and that one's almost ready and I've got some jalapenos in here that are growing look at that the peppers do so great most of the time last year I had quite a few peppers so I really loved it 
And I've got some marigolds that are also being attacked. I'll show you what I purchased for it too. They're doing really well except for that. And I snuck in some coleas for some color. Just took off the seeds. And another one over here. And it does get some shade, so it does okay. I've got my squash and my zucchini. Look at this zucchini, it just trails out. Right now it's all over the place because of the wind. But it's just beautiful to look at. I really like the way that the um, zucchini trails down. But I do think that it might be a little bit congested for the blooms. Um, because I do have some zucchini that are growing, but I don't have as much as I did last year. And last year I had them on a tomato cage. Um, but you know, it's a different thing. I love the way it looks, but I think if I want to do, um, if I want more zucchinis, then I need to uh, figure out a better way to have them sit on the bed. Um, the cages, I was trying to really avoid because you see, it's a very windy sometimes here and it just blows them and zucchini is really heavy so it just knocks it over uh, so I might do some little test trials I might just put some further back so it has some more space to sit on uh, but we'll see I think I'll do some more right now for fall I forgot to mention over here on the lettuce bed we'll come back over here this is where all my green beans and they really thrived here really really thrive compared to the other place I have them but again the same problem they just they're just getting attacked if you look at the bottom sometimes there's little bugs so it might be a pest sometimes it's just a disease but I still have some green beans coming along and some that I need to harvest it's been a while since I came down here and harvest some green beans and next, in between the zucchini and squash, I have some cantaloupe and, and I believe this cantaloupe is ready to be harvested. So we're gonna take that one out before it gets taken from, is it ready? Yeah, I think it is ready. And at the very back, we have our watermelon that I believe is also ready. Let's check. I mean, it's been sitting for some time. And it's supposed to be when this is dried. So I think we can harvest it. And then if you look over here on the other trailing side we've got another watermelon growing there and then this is a new one that just started growing here this bed is just a crazy mess oh I have one more watermelon this is the one that was growing over there on that side of the fence but my tomato is just going crazy and tomatillos and if you look at my tomato video I explained what happened in this area um, something's wrong with the tomatillo this just happened recently so I'm not sure what happened here it was doing fine and I've harvested a couple I've got one that's growing right there see this little baby and I had a couple more but it's just a crazy mess um, one thing about these marigolds is I really don't like the way they smell they're gorgeous I won't say I won't do it again but the smell is something um, down here I've got some nasturtiums that also didn't do so well and the um, Mexican sour gherkins they started trailing out but no cucumbers there I've got another one over here that is trailing around everywhere 
and no cucumbers to try. Nasturtium is kind of there, but I just wish I would have had a lot of orange color there and there on this bed. Just would have made it different to look at, except for all this yellow and craziness. If you check out my tomato video, I explained the mess, a lot of lessons learned, and we'll just leave it at that. Um, I don't have too much tomatoes growing right now. I think it's just the heat. But um, even my little baby tomatoes, let me show you. The cherry tomatoes, they're somewhat there. They're not as full as they were. So I'm gonna try another batch. And they're not even ripening as well as they were. Um, these have done good actually. Um, they're getting really tall and lengthy and but they still look beautiful. My cabbage, not this is not cabbage, my cauliflower just had some stunt growth and it just stopped growing. I'm gonna have another batch for the fall. Hopefully that does good. And this is also a fall crop. This is Brussels sprouts and they also didn't grow any. The uh, snapdragons are not doing as good as I hoped as well. Man, I think I'm saying that more than anything. <laughs> I'm really trying my best here. These marigolds, however, are just loving this spot. Wish all the other plants did the same. Back here, I've got some bell peppers which look like now we might get some peppers. There's a lot more blooms than before. And if we come over here on this bed, we've got these um, super sweet 100s that I thought were the tiny treats. And there's too many in here and they're gonna get pretty crazy. So it's gonna overcrowd this entire bed. So I'm gonna come back and cut some of it down but I wanted some tomatoes and it looks like I might get some. These look much better than the other ones. Um, I have some uh, Armenian striped cucumber here that are also looking for some shade because they're growing in that direction. Uh, I've got a cantaloupe that I snuck in here that's doing okay. It's trailing all the way to the back, but I don't see any fruit. Um, got some disease here. I have uh, four lunch box, box peppers that are getting ready. Got one there. I got another one here. I got a little one there. I got a green one over here. And in between, in the middle, I've got some more Brussels sprouts. These marigolds have just gone berserks. <laughs> got marigolds everywhere. I think I should need. I need to do the whole marigold garden over here because <laughs> these are marigolds too uh, the tiny treats um i think are giving up on me especially this one but it gave me so many tomatoes um even though it was uh split the way it was and it looks like i might still have some tomatoes in here but these have not ripened in a while i think there's some type of disease here as well um, this Brussels sprout mix here, there's one there, there's one here, looks much healthier than the other ones, but I think it's because they're shaded. I found one in here that's, that's sticking around. <laughs> um, and that is uh, the potato vine, also from the compost, that's doing really good. And in the back, I've got some blue Victoria salvia and some snapdragons. These are doing much better than the other ones. I wanted to give you a glimpse of what this one looks like. One of my favorite beds is my crazy giant zinnias. Just posted a video on the onions I've harvested and it looks like I'm getting ready to harvest the rest of them. Um, one thing about these is if you notice they're just heading in that direction so I'm gonna after this video I'm gonna cut them to make them stay on their side and so I'm going to have a lot of flowers to put in inside. These are so gorgeous. I'm definitely doing these over and over again. Look how beautiful. 
on this side. You remember I had a cabbage here? Well, it just started growing. So I don't know what we're gonna get, but look, we've got some green, I mean green. We got some purple leaves in here. So I'm excited and I had left some flowers here that, I mean, it's not real pretty, but the birds were feeding from there as well. And this nasturtium is finally dying out on me. It's been here since last year. So I pretty much had it as a perennial in a way. On this bed, I'm actually liking it a lot, even though it's not producing much. Um, it was really meant to be a focal point from the patio. Um, I snuck somewhat last minute um, a couple of sunflowers and they're just now blooming and they're doing really well. So there's two different types. Look at that one. They're just gorgeous. I loved the way it looks. Um, if I come back over, I've got two broccoli plants and two cauliflower plants. And in between, I put the same uh, flowering ornamental kale. And it's actually beautiful. Someone told me these look like alien plants. I definitely agree. <laughs> I think it just brings it out. It's just something different. You don't see normally with the uh, broccoli. I did get a little bit of broccoli and then it was eaten by some caterpillars. It only took one day for that. Looks like I'm getting some little pieces here, but not much to feed off of. This one is sort of coming out, uh, but my cauliflower is struggling it's been like that for a while i'm not sure if we're gonna get any it's just really hot in this area so next year i'm definitely gonna put some more heat tolerant plants here the blue salvia has been doing really well um cilantro that i had here also bolted but it looks beautiful i haven't put any white and it actually looks really nice just a little hint of white um, I also had some lavender see right here and it looks like it's doing well I'm gonna plant some more lavender next year for sure because it just smells so good that's one thing I don't have too much is um, plants that are aromatic oh you notice that <laughs> uh, what else do I have okay so back here we're gonna come to the back I've got some green beans or beans here that are not as good as the other ones, but they still produce a little bit. I've snuck a cantaloupe in here that has trailed over. I don't have any fruit and I never dug these and I need to do that, but we'll get to it. And if we come back over here, I've got another cantaloupe that is trailing. And if you notice, it's trailing all the way back there. <laughs> I think it's even going to grab on to the pomegranate tree. Um, I have some nasturtiums here that are just beaten with the heat. Not as luscious as I thought they would be. So lots of lessons learned in this bed as well. The wind is pretty crazy here. Come over here. And the last bed is my potato bed. Remember I planted these late? Well, I'm glad that I put as much as I could in here uh, because I only had, only have one, two, three, four, five plants. Now I had a sixth one that died on me, but this is it. This is all I was able to get. And here's another one that it's, it's sort of coming to the shade. I just think it's really hot. I really need to work on my planting next year. This is my first time planting potatoes. I had no idea. <laughs> no idea. But I've got four and, sorry. 
I've got four and hopefully I have a lot of tubers. Who knows? Well, as you can tell, I have a lot of areas of improvement. Um, my flowers did really well. Some of my vegetables are doing really well. A lot of them are struggling. I have pest issues. I have weather issues. Thankfully, the wind stopped. I hope this video was okay. Um, uh, humidity issues, a lot of heat, a lot of rain. We had about a week and a half of just full on rain, cloudy. It's just, you know, it's hurricane season. Um, but overall, I'm super, super happy with everything that I've done so far. Um, I've learned so much, so much. And um, if you haven't gotten to um, do any planting, uh, start now. You, just, you can start with fall. And I'm excited to put some pumpkins out. Um, maybe I get a chance to decorate this area. I love Halloween, so I'm really looking forward to that. Make it, make it a little bit like a, a little mini haunted house. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. This COVID stuff is driving me nuts. Like we're actually quarantined right now again because here in Texas, um, we're back to level one severe. It's just kind of how it is. Um, so I'm really thankful I get to be out here. I, I think it's an area where everyone should have. Um, I think having a garden is just the best thing that you can do for stress and anxiety and all that good stuff. And um, if you're um, a friend of mine, then you've stuck around for me blabbing. <laughs> um, if not, um, hopefully you do stick around. And hopefully we come friends. Thank you all. Thank you all so much for um, being a part of my community. Um, I have a lot more subscribers and I'm super thankful for everyone that comments. Every single one of them. Even the ones that are kind of like, oh. <laughs> I still comment back and I will like your comments as much as I can um, right now that I can. Um, anyways, thank you guys for sticking around and I hope you enjoyed this and we'll be doing another one pretty soon. Um, there's a lot of things. <laughs> I keep trying. <laughs>